Y'all remember when Cardi B said, Yeah, bitch, you want to party with Cardi? She was talking about me. Yes, I want to party with Cardi. And she was speaking to Cameron, okay? Your bitch want to party with Cardi. It was, it, was toward, it was directed towards me, okay? I'm that bitch. negative stuff with you like negative things that happen to me that I'm not too happy about like I'm upset about it or I'm sad about it or whatever you know what I mean or it's like something that has to do with drama or like you know what I'm saying but I'm trying to put positivity out into the world so today I'm 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 basically gonna read an email that Cardi B sent to yours truly yes Cardi B watches Hey Paris like who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? I would have never thought. You know what I'm saying? Now she sent me this email, I want to say maybe two months ago, something like that. And when I first got the email, I was like, it's not real. Somebody trying to ruin my day. Somebody trying to make this up, trying to make me happy just to make me be sad when I realized it's not Cardi B. Like, I thought it was a fraud. I thought it was fake. I did not think it was Cardi B at all. Until I did my research and the email that sent me this email is the same email that is in her Instagram, official Instagram bio. So I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute, making a bitch want to wish that she put on makeup in every single video if I knew Cardi B was watching me, but then I think about it, I'm like, Cardi B don't even wear makeup all the time, she be posting videos without her makeup, and like, we just so the same, like, girl, Cardi B watching this, like, hi, like, what's up, what's good, like, so yeah, like I said, I did my research, it was the same exact email, I was in her bio that emailed me, which was her management team, and when I realized this was a real ass email and one of my friends who I don't know why they want to remain anonymous It's either my friend Steven who does my intros. What's up Steven? How you doing? Or it's one of my other friends. I think it's Steven, but Anyways, we don't know who it is. They said it's an anonymous guy who said that I'll read the email. You'll see it. Okay. I'll put the email right here so you can read it along with me. Okay. All right, cool. I feel like I'm just doing this because it's simply like I show so much negative thing that happened in my life to the point where people literally think my life is only full of negativity and that's definitely not the case okay um but that's what I share mostly with you guys because I feel like that's the most entertaining the most interesting like people don't want to sit here and hear me talk about positive shit that happened to me unless you do if you do then god bless you because you are one in a million you know what i mean a lot of people just want to hear the bad things that happen so they can be entertained but there's other people out there who have good hearts and they're like we want to know what's good with your parents like what's making you happy nowadays what's what's making you smile and stuff like that and these are this is one of the things that made me smile cardi b emailing me like when I'm down when I'm sad, when I'm like, oh, I'm so anxious, anxiety, like, I just, I'm just not in a good mood. Sometimes I just read this email just to give me a little pick-me-up or something because I'm like, Cardi B watches me. Like, who would have ever thought? I never in my life did I think in my mind, Cardi B watches my YouTube channel. What? Why would I ever think that? But it's true. Like, what? God is real. God is a, God, thank you for blessing me, Jesus, God, everybody up there. Appreciate all y'all, okay? And the email reads, Hello Paris, we are the management team of Cardi B. We discovered you through a source who reports to be close to you. He decided to remain anonymous. A message from Cardi B personally has been sent to you below. We have not altered nor tampered with this message in any way. Everything you see below has been quoted from Cardi herself. Thank you for your time, Nicolette, MCCA management, okay? Y'all, when I read that, I was like... It's not real. No, it's not. Until I checked the email that I was like, oh shit, bitch. Cardi B said to me, to me, Paris, she said it to me, okay? She said, <laughs> wait, I got a little itch right here and I'm wearing makeup so I gotta like tap it real quick. Just give me a second. Oh. All right. She said, Hey Paris, I seen your videos and I just wanted to drop a little bit of encouragement to you and say that I'm a big fan. A fan of who? A fan of me? Bitch, no, like, you're going to be crying, like, whatever. Listen, y'all, I know I keep stopping. I'm sorry, but when I read this and I realized it was really Cardi B, I literally cried. I was like, this is, like, one of those public figure people who I literally look up to. Like, I love her personality. I think we're so much alike. I love the fact that she's authentically her and she's made 
an empire off of just being herself. Like, kudos to you. That is my goal. My goal is to always be myself and you either hate me or you love me, okay? It's one or the other. And I'm never going to alter who I am, my personality, or how I act for nobody. I'm going to always be me, okay? So take, take, take notes, y'all. Be yourself and anybody who don't like you, oh well, bye. Who asked you to be here anyways? Anyways, like I was saying, um, your videos really get me through some tough times of frustration. Like, what? My Are you crazy? Listen, y'all, I'm gonna cry all over again. Like, what are you talking about? Like, this has just, this, this email, every time I read it, I am just so encourage my damn self to just keep going and putting out content that is gonna make y'all laugh make y'all smile make y'all happy like let me breathe let me breathe I want to personally tell you to keep doing what you're doing. Much love to you. Keep slaying your YouTube game. You have me cracking up. Cardi's watching you Cardi B. Are you guys stupid? Are you dumb? I know I've read this email a million times, but every single time I read it, I'm like, I cannot believe this, okay? Yes, I'm fangirling. Fangirling AF. And let me tell you, I've been in the same room with Drake before. I've been in the same room as Bow Wow before. I've been in the same room as Rick Ross before. I've been in the same room with so many celebrities before, and I'm literally like this. I'm like, hey, all right. Y'all, y'all normal just like us. I'm gonna see the big deal. But Cardi B, but Cardi B, if I saw Cardi B, I would piss my pants. My pants would be soaked with urine and other fluids, like for real. Um, she, okay. I feel like the only other person I ever fangirled over is her, the musician, her, H-E-R. She's my favorite singer in the entire world. And when I saw her in concert, I cried like a baby and I don't care. And I don't feel embarrassed that I cried. Her voice was so beautiful that literally tears came down my face during her concert and people saw me and I did not care. I was, I fangirl over her too. Her and Cardi are probably the only two celebrities in this world that can make me feel the way I'm feeling right now, okay? Y'all don't get it. Like, this is an accomplishment for me. This is a huge accomplishment for me. I love Cardi B. I am one of her biggest fans ever in life, okay? Uh, since since her, her Instagram rant, to her love and hip hop uh, shenanigans, to her rap career. Hello. Like, and she watches me. Like, how did you even find my channel? I'm so confused. Do you understand? Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. It don't make sense. And for those of you who might be doubtful as well, this is the email address that sent me the message, and this is what's in her bio. It's literally her management team. Like, there's no, there's no, like, I instead of L or, like, letters and numbers. It's the exact same email. It's real. Can I get myself together real quick? And on that note, I just want to say to anyone watching this, if you ever had a dream, whether that's to be a singer, a rapper, a dancer, an artist, an architect, a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, I don't care if your dream is to be a fish, just swimming in the ocean, do it, do it, don't, don't do it tomorrow, don't set a schedule for next week. Today, tonight, right now, get it done, okay? Because whatever you believe you can do, you can definitely do it. Because I'm one of those people who was like, I hate when people are always like, you can be whatever you want to be. And, you know, anything you believe in, as long as you work hard, you can get it. I was one of those people who was like, okay, shut up. Like, you're acting like it's that easy. It's not that easy, but it is. But it is. All you got to do is get started. All you got to do is get started. I never in a million years ever in my life thought that I would be a YouTube star, ever. In my life, okay? When I started YouTube, I did it strictly for my own purpose. Like, I was bored, and I was like, I'm tired of Sephora. I just want to do something different. Like, let me just, hey, what's up, guys? Like, telling these little stories. I never thought I would be where I am today. There's no way in hell. Like, it never crossed my mind, okay? And then you just have to have people who support you. Like, my boyfriend, Cameron, he was the, he was the one who bought me the, my first ring light. This ring light right here, he bought me that. He was like, do it, babe. Do what you want to do. And you gon' you gonna get to where you wanna get. And guess what? I'm here. So you know what I mean? Have some encouraging people in your life. Believe in yourself. Be consistent. Be 
Be happy with what you're doing and don't don't give up ever. It don't matter. You're gonna fall down nine times, but you're gonna get up ten. In the words of Cardi, be her damn self, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to share some positivity with y'all for a change. Um, like I said, it's one of those emails that I read whenever I'm feeling down, and I just want to share it with you guys and hopefully give you guys some encouraging words to help you get to whatever goal you're trying to get to because I would have never thought that one of my favorite celebrities watch me or even knows who I am like that's crazy that is ridiculously crazy and I'm so humbled by it you guys don't understand I am so incredibly humbled at the fact that Cardi B even knows that I breathe oxygen in and out of my lungs like what Anyways, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you. Have you ever had someone reach out to you and you're like, bitch, how do you know I exist? How do you even know who I am? Like, has that ever happened to you guys before? Whether it been a YouTuber, a celebrity, or your crush. If your crush hit up your, your DMs one time and you was like, you, you know who I am? Shit. My ass must really be getting fat for real. What's up? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All that jazz in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Spread positivity throughout the world, please. I'm done with the negative, the negativity. Yeah, the negativity. I'm done with the negativity. So let's let's compliment someone today. If you're going out, compliment somebody. See a girl. Hey, I love your dress. I love your shoes. I love your makeup. I love your eyebrows. Something. Compliment somebody. Make somebody's day. Let's just make this world a happier and better place. I know this is a random speech, but the world is messed up, man. Like it really is. I just want to see some positivity in this world so let's whoever's watching this be nice to somebody today and make their day okay the, the good karma will come right back to you it will i promise thank you guys so much for watching love you guys so much i gotta tell you twice and i'll see you on the flip side Mwah! love you guys so much give me a hug Ooh.